Hey guys, what's up? It's Ellie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a Hogwarts Create a Sim. I am literally so pumped right now. I guess it's the Harry Potter Create a Sim, but we are doing a Hogwarts house. This is my house. It's Ravenclaw. I'm literally out of breath. I am so pumped to talk about this. Um, I was the weird kid um, in school who was like way too obsessed with Harry Potter. Like literally I had like a Facebook album full of like 600 Harry Potter memes. Like I was such a loser. Um, and I also, I got like a time turner and like a Happy Meal from McDonald's once and I wore it to school and people were obviously like, what the hell is that? And I was like, I just, like, I was like, what is wrong with you? Like, you don't know what it is. Like I would insult people. Um, I've read a lot since then, so don't stress about it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a little bit about, about Ravenclaw because I absolutely love Ravenclaw. Um, so this is just from the Harry Potter wiki, I know, official source, but okay. Ravenclaw House prizes learning, wisdom, wit, and intellect in its members. Thus, many Ravenclaws tend to be academically motivated and talented students. They also pride themselves in being original in their ideas and methods. It's not unusual to find Ravenclaw students practicing especially different types of magic that other houses might shun. Hermione Granger, an extremely intelligent witch and the top student in her year, was sorted into Gryffindor, though she admitted that the Sorting Hat had seriously considered placing her in Ravenclaw. Often hardworking and diligent, as often as the case with intellectuals with a predisposition for academics, some of the pupils sorted under the Blue Bronze Eagle are known to be inclined to dismiss certain social expectation for the sake of satisfying their own intellectual curiosity. Okay, yeah, a big mouthful, but basically, if you, like, want to be, like, not as into it as I am, they're just a bunch of nerds. Um, I, myself, kind of consider myself a nerd. Um, not, like, not, like... I, I don't think that I'm super smart, but I do value education above almost everything in my entire life. Like, I feel like if I'm not constantly learning, then, you know, like, what's the point? Um, so what you saw in our everyday wear, I downloaded, like, a Hogwarts, like, t-shirt, like, uniform kind of thing. Um, there is a little bit of glitching with the skirt, but, um, you know, it's whatever. Okay, and this is Betsy Meadows. I'm all over the place because I'm so excited. I actually talked over, like, the time, like, the video ended. I was still talking. I didn't realize it in the last recording, so I have to hurry up. This is Betsy Meadows. She is... Um, I think a genius, good, and ambitious. Um, I don't think I'm a genius. Like, I'm just going to say that right now. I don't think I'm a genius. Um, I do think that I am smart because I put in, I put in a lot of effort and time into my learning. Um, and Betsy, in particular, I feel like looks just like how I would picture, like, Rowena Ravenclaw to look, who's the founder of Ravenclaw at Hogwarts. Um, I don't know. I feel like she's, like, a modern-day rendition of her. Um, you know, it is kind of weird to think, like, what would a Hogwarts student wear when they're working out? Like, all these things that I never really thought about. Um, because I did want her to be playable as well. Like, I wanted her to be able to, um, like, if, if you don't want a player as, like, a Hogwarts character, <laughs> you could definitely, like, just change her everyday wear or whatever. Um, and play her. Obviously, she'll look a lot different um, if you don't have all the create. Oh, you don't have all the custom content. I'm so excited right now. I'm like stumbling over my words. Um, but I will have her up on the gallery. My origin ID is Danielle underscore seven four nine eight. I'll have the link down below. But yeah, okay. Um, basically, Luna Lovegood was a Ravenclaw, and she is like weird as hell, but she is such a badass. And I think that that really kind of represents Ravenclaws. Uh, like we, like we don't really care what society thinks. Um, well, that's kind of, I don't know. I do. I care a lot. I care a lot about everything. Um, <laughs> but like, I think that we definitely value um, learning above, you know, say, like, like, we're going to push ourselves. We're going to push ourselves to be the best version of ourselves that we can be. And I really think that that is a Ravenclaw thing. I mean, Hermione Granger, the coolest, like, I looked up to her more than I think, like, I've ever looked up to anybody in my entire life. <laughs> And she almost was a Ravenclaw, and she is so intelligent, but she's also very brave, which I don't really feel like is a Ravenclaw trait. I mean, we're brave in our own way, but I don't think that we're, like, I would not go, let's just say I would not go in the Chamber of Secrets and fight a basilisk. I'll tell you that. Okay, I'm not going to do it. Um, Luna Lovegood, brave as hell, uh, braver than me, but, you know, there's there's variation. There's variation in every house, um, but I am thinking of doing, like, a creative sim for uh, every single house. If that's something that you guys are interested in, let me know. I am such a Harry Potter freak. I was gonna like create like the trio, but I'm not really good at that yet. Like I do feel confident in my uh, simming, like creative simming, my cast skills a little bit more than normal, but definitely I'm still very like insecure about everything when it comes to this. But like, yeah, so I'm not gonna do that, but I will do like um, Sims inspired by Hogwarts houses. Okay, I don't wanna talk over uh, the time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>